Hey, welcome to Official Heat. We have an awesome exclusive interview going on right now with Meg and Dia. You've seen their video, Monster, on the show. Thank you for clapping. Studio contestants. Uh, let's go down the line. Meg? Meg? <laughs> okay, she's here. My name is Dia. I'm Carlo. Nick. Jonathan. Actually, I'm Nick. You can't, there, there can be only one. I'm Nicholas. Okay. How long have you guys been uh, been on the road for thus far? Let's go to, uh, I got so many options here. Let's go to you. Uh, we've done like, I think six shows. We started, when was it? Like six days ago, I think. <laughs> so like, so, oh wait, I thought this was going on for months. It's only like the first part of the tour then. Well, how long is it going for then? Um, till April 7th. April. So you're going to be out here for quite a while. Yes. Uh, wh what do you guys think of Buffalo so far? It's a group effort. Answer. It's uh, freezing. And there's a really good deli that I just ate at. Starbucks is clearly too far away. We have to pay Starbucks a royalty now that you mention their name. You know that, right? <laughs> okay, uh, now the video we've been playing on the show is Monster. And... Uh, where where did the idea for that come from? Like we get a lot of people that go, the glowing art thing is so cool. Uh, who thought that up? Um, it was mostly our director who thought most of it up, and then he would send us the treatment, and we okayed it. We changed anything that we didn't like, or um, want to emphasize anything that we did like. But um, yeah, it was his idea, and it was really interesting because they actually sewed these little blinking lights into like Hayne's white T-shirts, and we just put them on underneath our dresses or. Um, t-shirt and whatever. It actually like burnt a hole through some of my bra. <laughs> and then yeah, Nick got a huge blister on his chest. You can say bra, it's FCC approved. Yeah, there's a hole in my bra. I actually kept it for a souvenir. But our, um, yeah, it was just it was just insane. There's smoke coming out of our shirts. We'd have to stop and kind of cool off and then kind of do it again. But it was, it was really fun and the bleaking hearts were just kind of to emphasize uh, emotion, I guess. It's a metaphor. It, no, that's very, like, as tragic and horrible as your chest being on fire as, as that is, that's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> um, was that like someone's actual house or was that a set? Um, that was a set. It was actually taken underneath a bridge in Brooklyn. So it was freezing. It was in New York around January, I think. So it was, we had to wear wetsuits when the, when the rain came down, which was from a fire hydrant on the side of the street. And they just put up um, boards for walls, and it was completely outside. So they paint. They, when we came in, they were painting the room blue, you know, and painting the walls, putting in the furniture on like the dirt roads and sidewalks, and they had to get permission from the city and all this stuff to do the video. But it was really, really exciting. That's pretty cool. It actually just looked like you guys went to someone's house. You're like, hey, let's do like your living room's pretty cool. Let's just, hey, can I set my drums up in there? Mind if it's sopping wet by the end of the night? That that's. Very, very cool. And um, now, how long has your album been been out on the uh, on the shelves and everything like that? Since August eighth of two thousand and six. So August, so it's relatively new, and you guys are uh, out here plugging away, doing the doing the road thing, and uh, that's excellent. That's awesome. Um, do you guys got anything coming up next? You guys, after this touring stint is over, are you going on the road with another group? Or are you going back in the studio? We have Warped Tour confirmed uh, for the two months, and that's basically all we're doing. There's talk of possibly going to Europe, but that's not solid yet. I really hope that happens, but as far as we know, Europe's only, I mean, Warped Tour is the only solid thing we know about. I was uh, actually on one of the headlining bands with Warped Tour last year, and then I got arrested like an hour before I was supposed to go on stage. It sucked. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. <laughs> they, seriously, they don't want to know. It's, it was bad. Well, uh, all right, you guys are uh, just about ready to go on stage, I guess. So we got your tour manager who's giving me the eye saying, uh, hey, get them downstairs right now. You're wasting all their time. So we got to get you guys on stage. Thank you very much. Uh, this was awesome. Break a leg tonight. And uh, once again, give yourselves a round of applause because I don't have a studio audience. It was Megan Dia.